family is hopeful that the husband and father of three will return safely and urge anyone who might have seen Salvador to contact the police. A massive gelatinous And what better way to spend your night than stealing or simply going to a museum? It's like that movie, Hide in the Museum. Except with his vampires instead of living wax figures. I never actually saw the movie, to be quite honest with you. Of the Atlantic. Oh. I'm not going to the deep of the Atlantic, but... You know? <laughs> wouldn't that be an ideal place for vampires to live? The deep of the Atlantic. I mean, yeah, there's no oxygen. But they don't breathe anyways, as far as I can tell. We don't perspire. I mean, we might perspire. Blood would be a little hard to come by, won't lie. But if you can drink fish blood, I guess it's not that big a deal. Hop in. Rabbit, let's go. Or ribbit, whatever. To the museum. But like, there's no sunlight at the bottom of the ocean. Or even once you go a certain distance down. Not gonna let me leave, huh? Damn it, Kane. Oh, come on, I wanna see the psychic. Ooh. Chinese. Due to unforeseen. <laughs> the fortunate circumstances, the business of Madame Guaita has been located onto Santa Monica Pier. Huh. Still. Really? Unforeseen? Some psychic you are, lady. Can't go in that one either. But yeah, there's no sunlight at the bottom of the ocean. No humans. Moving around would be a little annoying because of all the water resistance. I don't know, it just seems like it would be a really, really easy place for vampires to live. Sue me for making logical sense out of the whole situation. Or maybe there is a clan of uh, vampires and white wolf that live under the ocean. I'm not the most well acquainted with the lore of this. Just a little bit of bread online. Damn funny. You scared the crap out of the cleaning crew. Now would you put the damn raptor back at the exhibit? Oh, and don't leave the keys lying around or Marshall will fire your ass. On the other hand, I will not. And I will gladly take those keys. Wherever they may be. Found them. That's all that's the further I'm gonna throw an aluminum can. I could have threw it further than in real life. I always thought it was weird. The way that sometimes a game will judge your strength. Like in one second, you're a super badass warrior and they can cut like a a brick wall in half, or punch through it, or something to that effect. And then the next, you're like, uh... 
I can't pick up this chair. Why? Anyways. Roof access. Maybe I could drop down to the... Or maybe not. Aspects. It barely, like it goes down, but it takes a while. This is almost like doing acid. Look at the trails. Officer. Dip. I forgot about that. Stop doing that. It's just second nature to jump, though. Good grief. Fire exit. Well, I wouldn't expect it to be open. It's not like I'm on fire. This time. Sir, took a piss at the wrong time. Oh, that was close. Trying not to kill these guys. Really, really trying not to. Tip. Vent crawling. Have I not proven my worth? Have I not conquered so many previous vents? This vent, like all vents, will succumb to my power and prowess. Is there anyone down there? Doesn't look like it. I know someone in the next room now. See nothing, son. <laughs> 
freeze. Who are you talking to? You're in the room by yourself. Ah, crap. Just a reminder, Dr. Anders Johnson, a.k.a. the sarcophagus guy, will be working at the museum for the next few days. Show him the professional courage. Ah, crap. Um. Really? Did I just do that? Anyways. Let's return to our hacking. Show him the professional courtesy that we show all our guests. CM. That statue on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late night the other like I was working late the other night and I swear I thought I saw it move. This is another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny. Pam. MAV has detected a virus in the attachment of the message. The virus has been quarantined and notice is sent to AC AD cxu at mail.net Those keys you found? They're Larry's. I'll tell him that you left them in the lost and found. Huzzah. Sales. Cool. Uh, I guess we need some more Asbuck's power. <laughs> Sales figures are unavailable at this time. What a fantastic hack that was. <laughs> this is for you seeing me. Now if you catch me, you're going to be so damn tired from lack of blood. Where... The f fuck is he going? And how did he recover from that so quickly? Do 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 do. There's the bathroom guy. This place is huge. Maybe I should have stayed on the second floor for a little while. Always hide around the corner when you have obfuscation going. I think only the top level you can open doors without being seen, but hey. I don't know if I'll ever get to the top level of obfuscate. Not as Melkavian. Though I guess I could. Big double doors. I must be upstairs. Damn, those footsteps sound real close, though. Ah, I can't even open that. Hmm. 
and he just keeps going like nothing happened. I mean, that does strike me as a little strange. Also, what's that door over there? Also, I'm really glad that you didn't cross before. That would have been awkward. I swear, if, I, if that's just a door I can't open. Son of a bitch. This has been a fun little merry-go-round. But at least I know where I'm going. Sort of. What's this say? Oh, huh, what? You didn't see nothing on the other side of the damn wall. It seems like this is where we need to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. We can explore the basement in part two. Maybe we'll get that sarcophagus. Maybe we'll find more cops. Maybe we'll commit untimely murder. And we still gotta find that item that Pisha wanted. But that's for next time. Farewell, vampire.